Hello Bakugan Brawlers and welcome to another Bakugan video. Today I have a very special video as I'm going to be showing you the evolution of the Bakugan Gate cards. I'm going to be showing you in the original series and the Baku Tech series. So basically from Bakugan Battle Brawlers to Bakugan Mectanium Surge and the Baku Tech series, Baku Tech Gachi and the Bakugan Armors. And I'm also going to be comparing the Spin Master and Sega Toys gate card and also stay tuned for the next video that's going to be coming out in my channel i'm going to be doing the ability card evolution line so without further ado let's get straight into the video first up we will start with the sega toys bakugan battle ballers gate card this is the hsp gate card which was released all the way back in 2008 so they come into four different type of cards the first one is a normal card which is also known as a silver gate card the second is a command card also known as a copper gate card and the third one is a character card which is also known as a gold gate card but what's special about sega toys hsp gate card is that they come with also a special card it has a bigger artwork with no gate attribute bonuses only with a root and as you can see there is written hsp bonuses down there this is uh, applied for the rules of the game which was changed later on in 2009 and now to compare it with the hsp gate card from the spin master side as you can see the back is very different this is the sega toys while this is the spin master gate card so they're quite different in the back so is the artwork as you can see they also have the hsp value so this is a silver gate card which has no title to it and no text box or bonus that is given except the gate attribute bonuses so this is the silver this is the copper with the title and the text box and this is the gold gate card which has a black border which is considered also as a character card as you can see fear ripper over here and before we move on to 2009 later on in the line the sega toys gate card has added something additional they added the ventus gate attribute bonus for example this is a silver gate card or also known as a normal gate card it first started out with no ventus gate bonus then they added ventus later on in the line so this is the 2008 hsp original bakugan battle brawlers gate card for spin master and sega toys later on in 2009 in bakugan battle brawlers spin master has released the new series 2 type gate cards they have the same back as their original hsp cards but the inside of the card has a completely different artwork and this is when they started to introduce the gold copper and silver gate card and as you can see the gate bonus is on the side with the gate card name on the other side same for each one of them so however sega toys has not released a battle brawlers version of these type of gate cards because during that time uh, bakugan was booming in north america but not so much in japan later on in 2009 after the battle brawler series bakugan new Vestroya has officially been released the gate card looks very very similar as the battle brawlers version just with the artwork and even additional bone additional rules for the newer new Vestroya bakugan but they are very very similar to the series 2 bakugan battle brawlers gate card from spin master and what's also very special is that this is the time that the uh, sega toys has also adopted these type of cards as you can see these are the new Vestroya sega toys gate cards now they started to take very very similar design as the spin master for example you can see the silver gate card they both have very very similar designs unlike the hsp era and also to mention the bakugan new vestroya sega toys gate cards were released in 2010 which was a year after 
the Spin Master version. Next up, in 2010, Spin Master has released the Bakugan Gondalian Invaders and they come with a completely new design of gate cards with different borders, a smaller gate attribute bonus on the sides. So these are the gate cards, very very different designs from the new Vistroya and Series 2 Battle Brawlers gate cards. As for Sega Toys, their Bakugan Gondal Invaders gate card were released in 2011. They also have very very similar design compared to the Spin Master gate card, but the only difference is that their border is a bit more thicker with a bigger gate attribute bonus and just a different way to add the effect of the gate card and the title of the gate card. And now with the Mectanium Surge Bakugan gate card. This is the Spin Master version of the Mectanium Surge gate card. And again, like Gondal Invaders, the Mectanium Surge has completely done a redesign to the gate card with a bigger artwork and a completely different border design for each of the gate cards and also a more bigger gate attribute bonuses so these how they look like silver copper and gold and they were released in 2011 as for the sega toys mectanium search gate card they were released in 2013 and they're considered to be more rare compared to the other gate cards that are shown over here so these are the mectanium search gate cards from the Sega Toys version. They look very, very similar to the Spin Master version, but you could see very slight changes and differences between each of the cards. It's more noticeable to see the differences between the gate cards when they're displayed with the text box. As you can see, it's written in Japanese and here English, while here it's written in English and in French. And now we're done with the original Bakugan series from Battle Brawlers to Mectanium Surge. Now we'll start with the Bakutech series. First of all, Bakutech series started off the gate cards with this type of design. I only have it in gold and silver. This is considered as the early Bakutech design, which was released during 2010 and 11. These are how the gate cards they look like. However, later on in the Bakutech line, the gate card design has changed quite drastically. You can see they have a quite different design between them. This is the later on Bakutech gate card while this is the early stages of the Bakutech gate card. You can see quite differences between them and during the Bakutech Gachi series the gate cards continue to take the same design. This is the Bakutech series while these are the Bakutech Gachi series. They have the same designs between each one of them. And obviously the Bakutech Gachi series gate card was released during 2013. And now we finally come to the final gate card evolution from the Bakutech line. These are the Bakugan Armors series. The final line of the Bakutech series. They are the basically newest one. They were released in 2014. You can see this is a silver, gold, and copper. They have a completely different design from the other Bakutech series gate cards. You can see the gate attribute bonuses are displayed this way, which is completely different from the other Bakutech gate cards. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share for more awesome Bakugan content. And also, stay tuned for my next Bakugan video, which is going to be the evolution of the Bakugan ability cards. So stay safe out there and Bakugan brawl.